Hello and welcome to this PowerDirector 14 tutorial and today I thought I should show you some of the new function in the Action Camera Center that is a new function in the uh, PowerDirector 14 version uh, so uh, the problem is if you have like a clip like this this is taken in 120 FPS with a GoPro camera and um, if you see here in the preferences you can only choose 60 FPS so if you try to drag this down you will see there is a conflict here uh, you can fix that uh, by clicking on the film clip you want to use and uh, go here and click action camera center okay then you will uh, come into this center and you have a fixed tab and an effects tab and um, we can show um, look at the effects tab first so <clears throat> uh, choose the, the area you want to add an effect for example we can add an effect here in the takeoff you create a time shift you can of course uh, fix that here for example we want to make some uh, time speed effect here you can either make it go faster or you can slow it down and you can try a fourth of the speed like this and then Right, so uh, we can also apply a reverse effect. Um, right yeah you can also add freeze frame uh, zoom effect and so on um, if you go to the fix um, tab here you got actually the uh, lens correction effect that's a new also a new feature if you click here um, and you can go to I have a GoPro camera this is a GoPro 3 and you see it fixes the the fisheye look um, so without the lens correction and this is with the lens lens correction so let's see that in uh, you can see the lines here have this fisheye effect and it's not straight so if you correct that you can see the lines are straight and now we can uh, try the stabilizer yeah you can see the the wheel isn't still like in the original movie it moves around so it actually do stabilizes the video I don't say that this is <laughs> something good but uh, it does what it says it should do it stabilizes the video and you can of course uh, you can of course um, play around with these effects you have the white balance and color temperature uh, you can calibrate the white balance if we find something white here then yeah, for example like this so this is some of the effects you got in the in the action camera center and you see if you click OK you won't get this conflict with the, the timeline so if you want to correct the video again you just click here 
and you can come back to the action camera center again to do other things or effects or edit the effects you have already put into the, your video so that's a short tutorial about the action camera center thank you for watching